What's up, everyone? Welcome to this day in Philly sports history for October 7th, 2022. It's officially Fuck the Cardinals weekend. I will make one exception for the Upper Dublin Cardinals, who take on Council Rock South tonight. The Cardinals are 6-0, so they are the only Cardinals I will be rooting for in this house this weekend. But before we get into the playoff preview for the Phils, let's go back to 2011. And the irony of this it can't be overstated because I actually made this schedule out long before the Phillies clinched, long before I knew what the playoff schedule was going to be. So on this day in 2011, the Phillies lost to the Cardinals in Game 5 of the NLDS down at Citizens Bank Park, one to nothing. It was the end of the golden era of Philly baseball. I think that whole five-year stretch from 07 to 2011 was signified as, as being closed when Ryan Howard was laying there on the first baseline in a heat when he blew out his Achilles. It was just a sad way to end that era because they were so good and they should have gotten away with way more than one title, uh, especially that year, I think. And that game, even in particular, Holiday was dealing that game. And the next year, I mean, he definitely got old fast too. So problem with that series and off and on that whole year with that team was uh, no offense and typical they they gave up a home run I think it was in the first inning could not score a run the rest of the game I just remember being in the stands for that game and just being like okay with the, the offense is going to get it. It, it this is the inning this is the inning. and it just never came to fruition and I think that, like I mentioned previously, there were signs of that throughout that season. But with the pitching they had, it was nobody really batted an eye at it. So what a sad way to end. But again, this day in Philly sports history in 2011, Cardinals beat the Phils 1-0, um, ruined Roy Halladay's gem of a game. But that's a perfect segue into... The, the playoff preview for this year, the Phillies finally, after 11 years, that game in 2011 was the last playoff game for the Phillies. It's hard to believe that that was 11 years ago. I just, it, it seems to me it was just like yesterday because I, I remember just like, okay, they're going to come back. Howard's going to be out, but they'll, they'll do it. And they all, like I said, got old quick. But the 2022 Phils will be playing a three-game series starting today at 207 in St. Louis. And I think I've mentioned this over the past couple of weeks as we've been recapping and kind of summarizing where the Phillies were at. I think this is a good matchup for the Phils. I think of all the way things could have broken, I like this matchup. I think they already won the season series with the Cardinals 4-3. to three. It's not as if the Cardinals were playing great down the stretch. They had a pretty big lead in the division. So they, I don't want to say coast it, but they were in that sort of like, okay, we, we were fine. Very similar to that 2011 Phillies team. So there are some comparisons there with they have some decent strong starting pitching and inconsistent offense. Played out the string in September. I think they even had identical records in September. So all that to say, I think the Phils are live to win this series. Um, I actually did place a bet for them to win this series. It was plus, I believe, 135, which I, I think tells you something. I, I It should probably be more if they weren't in this series. So we'll see. But let's preview it. The Phillies, again, have the edge. They won four games to three this year in the season series. I think the Phillies have the edge in starting pitching. The way the the rotation is set up, it's going to go Wheeler, Nola, Suarez. For the Cardinals, I believe Quintera. And I think um, Mikolas is pitching Saturday. So... I think you got to give the edge to the Phils, especially the way that Wheeler has owned the Cardinals this year. I think 14 scoreless innings, 2-0 and against them. So that's the way I see it. That's a good way to start this series off. I believe the, the offenses are pretty even. 
I think the Phillies have more potential to explode. They have the more, uh, as Charlie Mann used to say, they can put up the crooked number. And I think that's going to be huge in this series, especially starting off in game one when you have Zach Wheeler, your your 1A ace or 1B ace, however you want to describe him. The intangibles, I would give the edge to the Cardinals. You have Pujols playing in his final playoffs. Uh, Molina, Yadier Molina probably doing the same thing. Adam Wayne, Wayne right, and they have those old guys that are probably playing in their last playoff series. So I will give the edge to them. I think this series hinges on what happens today. Whatever happens this afternoon is going to determine this series. So the Phillies are sending out Adam or uh, Zach Wheeler. I think that is key. They need to to get out and jump on uh, Quintero early. Wheeler deals, the Phillies win game one. They're alive for a sweep. I think Nola, the way he's been pitch, pitching, they could go in tomorrow, or they could come in today. Wheeler dominates, Nola goes in tomorrow, dominates again, and there you go. They got a day off before they figure out who they're gonna be playing in the next round. So, what that does then, if they win today, you have Nola. And if Nola does get off to sort of a slow start, you have those other starters then. You can throw in a, a Gibson. You can throw in Zach Eflin. You, you can use that bullpen. Each guy pitching inning, whatever it takes. So it's the playoffs. You can't hold anything back. So I, I, I think, like I said, I think the Phillies are live for a sweep. I think they do win this series. And... There you have it. I mean, we can go whatever the next round brings from there. But I think, like I said, the Phillies are live to win this series. I think they do. So I'll see you all at 207. Going to try to figure out how that's going to work with my work schedule. Again, I hope my bosses aren't listening. But go Phils. Have yourselves a Friday. Get ready for the weekend. And until next time, I'll see you when I see it.